What's your view on ULEZ expansion now? Does it need to be scrapped? Well, do you know, I'm an Outer London, West London MP as well, and we've had it for a year. And it's not actually an issue anymore because nine out of 10 cars are compliant. So when you give people the number plate checker, they stick in their thing. It's actually no longer an issue. I've only had one person who came to an advice surgery about me, and that's because they bought a diesel van on a bad HP deal, so they're not eligible for the scrappage. So I do think that it's not going to be an issue at the general election. I mean, Steve played a blinder and they turned it into a sort of single issue campaign on that. But I think come a general election, people will have got used to it. And as I say, nine out of, I mean, not everyone has a car in the first place, but nine out of 10 cars are compliant. There's very generous compensations if yours isn't. And I just think that, you know, we wouldn't put up with dirty water, would we? So clean air is another, it's a no-brainer. We've seen it's been on a death sentence, uh, sorry, death certificate, the Ella Kissy Deborah case for the first time. She died of air pollution. So I think we do have to do something. And if you've got a sort of 1990s diesel thing and there's help to get rid of it, what I wonder is, nobody has yet, but if any of my constituents would say we didn't get the compensations because the scrappage scheme has turned into everybody recently and a year ago that when wasn't the case. Four times. And when you've got people with a prius sort of saying, oh, I don't like that you, Les, it's because I feel it's more the, do you know what I mean, the idea of it, the, when people get used to it, I don't think it will be okay. as big a deal. Well, we will see.